and David Heathfield. And let me tell you my story. I'm a storyteller who came to be a storyteller through my background of teaching English as a foreign language, uh, as an additional language, and also community theatre. And I've been a professional storyteller for 20 years. And I run courses for teachers all around the world online called Creative and Engaging Storytelling for Teachers. That's the main course I run. And I also um, write, I've written many chapters for books, for example, British Council publications, many articles and two books. The last one being Storytelling with Our Students, Techniques for Telling Tales from Around the World, which is a teacher development book. I am glad to be contributing to the Society for Storytelling PAC for National Storytelling Week. And my contribution is about story making. So I'm interested not just in telling stories, but of course you teachers and your students also telling stories and developing as storytellers. And the activity is about the imagination, of course, and about creating stories orally and collaboratively. So the activity is a simple activity where you, the teacher, will tell the first half of a folk tale, right up until a point maybe where there's a crisis, a critical problem, a dilemma, and then ask questions. And this is using improvisation techniques and students will answer and from their answers together you'll create a new ending to the story. And the questions you might ask might be sensory questions. How did the character feel? What did he see? What did she smell? What happened next? Students can then retell the story and they can listen to each other's ideas and then listen to you tell the second half of the traditional ending and make comparisons between their ending and the traditional ending and then tell a story. It could be the traditional story, but more likely the story that they've created may be influenced by the ending that is traditional, but also the endings they've heard from their classmates. This is deeply communicative and celebrating the diversity within the classroom. Celebrating cultural diversity is a big part of what I'm interested in. And I think uh, the Society for Storytelling is doing a great deal to celebrate diversity. And that's what we can do through storytelling. There's storytelling traditions from all around the world. I value National Storytelling Week for shining a spotlight on storytelling but of course we all know that storytelling should be part of every week and just to let you know that my current project is called tell a child in gaza's tale and you can find out more about that if you look me up on facebook my name's david heathfield thank you